This is the sign you'll see when you reach the access trail to Sage's Ravine campsite. The other thing you'll see is a log bridge across the river. So there are a total of oh eight or ten uh, sites in this area and this is number one uh, which has a couple of ten platforms and uh, actually this one that I'm closest to will, does have a couple of trees that would make it uh, useful for a hammock and tarp so we'll keep this one in mind we are staying here tonight but we'll keep looking uh, there is a caretaker here by the way uh, there's a platform and she's got a big canvas tent on there uh, so she gave you some advice but uh, but there is no charge for staying here which there has been in the past so I guess that's a change in policy so tent site number two has a uh, pad of sorts doesn't look too bad in terms of flatness and rockiness uh, nothing here for a hammock though Site number three is another pad. Again, looks decent. Um, and there are two trees over there uh, that are properly spaced for a hammock. Both seem uh, to be alive. So there's a possibility to use a hammock here. Well, I can't find a number for this site, but uh, I'll assume it's four uh, for the time being anyway. Uh, nice tent platform. Those two trees are too close, really, to allow this to be used with a hammock. Site 5 is uh, another tent platform. And uh, that tree at the corner and that tree over there are about the right distance apart. If you got a tree stop long enough to go around that one, they're not obviously over the platform, they're adjacent to the platform. And between campsites 4 and 5 is one of several bear boxes. After 4 and 5 there's a sign that says there's some water uphill. And there is a little spring here. It's not all full of leaves, so somebody must have cleaned it out, I guess. A little further on is a wash pit and a trail that leads to the privy. And the privy is an older school designed and we've been seeing in Connecticut, uh, but it is a moldering uh, type privy with two chambers. Site number six has a tent platform and a couple of possibilities for hanging hammocks. Uh, using that leaning birch tree and either of those two trees over there. Site number seven is a platform and it does have two trees six paces apart about and apparently I miscounted there are only seven uh, ten sites and then well I guess there's eight altogether because th this is the group site uh, which has a couple of decent looking ten sites and probably one or two places uh, for a hammock as well. And the group site has its own bear box. And we have us a little deer visiting the campsite. So I hope you enjoyed your visit to uh, the Sages Ravine campsite. A uh, very pleasant area with uh, plenty of camping opportunities for both tents and hammocks. Uh, I should mention um, that we, we talked a little bit about the spring that's way up the hill as a water source, but uh, uh, it's possible that might go dry in, in dry weather, uh, but here we have the brook in Sages Ravine, and uh, I'm pretty confident that that's a reliable year-round water source. So, thanks for watching.